What's up everyone, Tomcat back here again. We haven't done a story time in a while. So let's do a story time. The title of the story is The Life of Richard Smoker, AKA Dick Smoker. So once upon a time, not too far in the distant future, there lived a man in the land of plenty. And his name was Richard Smoker. He didn't want to work. He wasn't interested in girls. He didn't want to do anything but throw his life away. He never prayed up or prepped up or stepped up on nothing. And everybody would always call him Dick Smoker. People always used to make fun of him. But he didn't care. Because he was happy just being Richard Smoker. Sleeping, partying, waiting to be handed everything and not do anything for himself or anybody else. So Richard Smoker lived his life, his sad existence, throwing it all away. Every day he was broke until he got his stipend every month. And Richard Smoker was happy with that. But then one day, the power went out. Richard Smoker couldn't play video games, couldn't listen to music, couldn't watch the same movies over and over. And Richard Smoker was sad. He went to his fridge, but it was empty. Went to his cabinets, but they were empty. He said, oh, the power will come back on. Four days later, the power did not come back on. Now Richard Smoker is in a panic. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't have anybody he can rely on. He has nothing to trade. Nobody likes him. So Richard Smoker is in a damn pickle. He doesn't know what to do now. Surely the banks are closed. Surely with the electricity off, Richard Smoker can't do anything. Now he's stuck, he's got no supplies, no friends, no team. Nothing to barter but electronics that nobody wants. Now Richard Smoker is in a pickle. Oh boy, Dick Smoker is in a dick pickle. Whatever is he gonna do? So he thinks, hey, I'm going to start robbing people around me and get the supplies I wanted. So he goes out and he tries. He succeeds about twice. He gets enough food and water and supplies to last him about a week. Now fame and all his exploits get to his head and Richard Smoker thinks now, hey, I can do this now. These stupid preppers, these stupid people of the prepared mind, they just left supplies for me because I'm so tough. I can just take them. Then one day, Richard Smoker picks the wrong house. Ghost uses crowbar to break in. Three warning shots to the left side of his feet. Guy in military gear says, hey, step away from here. If you want to do work for us, we'll give you supplies. We'll give you shelter. But Richard Smoker doesn't want to work. Richard Smoker's only goal is to steal, to lie, to deny, to throw blame on other people for his misfortune. So he says, I'm coming in to get your supplies. But what Richard Smoker didn't know was there was 15 guys all around him, surrounding him in the bush. Richard Smoker, all he has is a knife and a crowbar. Men come out in military fatigues. They surround Richard Smoker on all sides. Now you would think when you're surrounded 
by so many heavily armed soldiers just accept it and say okay I'll work for you but Richard Smoker thought that work was for jerks he didn't want to do work he wanted everything handed to him freebies, handouts so Richard Smoker tries to go after them with a crowbar and they level him with three shots to his fucking dome piece thus sending the tale of Richard Smoker so the moral of the story is and the story's moral goes always have supplies on you do the work do the things live your life don't exist live you don't want to be Richard Smoker incarnate do you I don't think anybody here does but I love you guys Stay strong, stay safe, stay positive, come up with a plan, make it a damn good plan, have a damn good backup plan, have a damn good safety net plan, have a damn good you're not dick smoker, Richard smoker plan, and that's what's up from the cat, so I love you guys, we'll see you later for more, Tom Cat out!